ladies. Welcome back to Babs Fabs. Today I'm doing part two of my jelly printing. Remember on the last um, video I showed you where I had put the gold and I wanted it to dry so you could see that it is dried so good. So hopefully I will get a chance to show you the pull that I want to show you once the paint has been dry. And it's been dried now for like oh maybe four or five days so i'm gonna uh, add some white to it add some white not too much and i'm gonna add some um let's go with this color here a little bit of that and we're gonna put a little dab of purple and later on i'm gonna be showing you my um, pulls, my jelly prints that I got off of the last pull. So we're going to use the brayer. I'm going to mix these colors good. I'm going to let it stay on for a while. I don't have too much purple in that. I'm going to let it stay on for a while. While I'll show you the, um, while I show you the, the pulls that I got. Okay? So, while I set this aside to dry, because I do want it to dry a little bit, take a few minutes to dry, I am going to show you the pulls from the first part. And this is what I'm going to eventually do, do with them. I'm going to use them for something really nice okay so this is um, one of the book pages that I use you see it's a book page and here is uh, how I showed you how I use a oh this red some of this red really came out and I don't like it the way it came out but this is the book page like I use stencils with some um, what's it alcohol inks yeah alcohol inks so this is um a napkin a napkin that i applied to the print and the book page so you know how you apply the napkin you just take the single ply and you apply it to whatever paper you want so this is what i did with this one and I think it came out really nice. What I think I want to do with these, I want to make journal booklets with them. I think they will make some gorgeous journal booklets. And after that, I can also go and put some clusters on. But with this one, I just added the white part. You know the white part of the napkin that you pull? I just wanted to put the white part. And later on, I will go back and I will apply. This is my favorite stuff. This is the best stuff. Is um, the glitter finish. It's acrylic paint and it's extreme glitter and it will give you such a beautiful shine and um, top coat. So that's that. So let me show you all of the um, jelly prints. You remember how I told you the ones that I do on the deli? I go back later and I, I cut off the borders. So that's what I did with all of these. And I'm going to use these for a number of things a number of things so I really think they came out really nice and you know you can you can layer these so if you don't like the design on them you could layer them and use them what I mean by layer them I could show you later on where you could just take another a piece of scrapbook paper and put over it some kind of way and just layer it fold it in half make your small booklet or whatever you're going to use it take a card or another book page and just layer it to make it you know crop it like this if you don't want the whole page just this is what i call in scrapbooking you call cropping it so you could just crop it if you don't like the full design so those are some of the um pages here some of the red, I don't like how it came out. It got kind of blotchy, sparkly, so ooh, I didn't like that. 
but I love some of them how they came out like that. That is gorgeous. And you could see the gold that is coming through from the gold that I had on the um, the jelly plate. That's yummy. So remember I was telling you that the red alcohol is just the only one that I had was working. But I, I'm not liking that red now because it is, I don't like the way it looks. So I definitely will be covering these with, um, I will be cropping it. Now that's nice. But the ones that look blotchy and block, uh, blotchy, I will not be using those. I definitely will be covering those with another paper, book page or something like this one. Cute, but I don't want it to look too gory. I love this one. And I went and got some paper with uh, paint with the stencil. I really don't like how that came out. I'll be covering that. Now, these are more, more subtle. Subtle, really. Not too much. I love the subtle colors. So, these I definitely will be using. I am, this one here is my favorite one. Fab. This one came out so nice. I almost want to do a duplicate of that one. And these are the ones that I said I did. The paint on the stencil. Really didn't like it. It's okay, but I really, I'm not that happy with it. So, let's see, can I get a pull? But before I do that, let me show you. I went to um, Hobby Lobby because I know Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Claire. Hi, Lou and all my other girls. I went to... Um, Hobby Lobby, because I saw where um, Linda said that they had a good sale on the um, all the Tim Holtz alcohol inks, distress pass, what, oxidol, oxidi. I didn't see any of that. At my Hobby Lobby, none of that was on sale, and I was really disappointed. But they did have the paper studio things on sale. They were 50% off. Some of the things like this was not, but I used my 40% coupon on one of these things i use my 40 percent i love this pad they had this pad this um um prima i love these i definitely will be making look how gorge something out of these beautiful papers something beautiful is coming from this hey <laughs> and i got um I got these spare parts. I wanted to use these. Um, these are brads. I wanted to use these bling brads for my flowers because I'm making flowers. I wanted to, you know, like decorate these and like pump these up a little bit. And these, this is how it's going to look. It's going to look like that a little bit more. So see, I could take the smaller ones and I could put, you know, the little designs on top and change them up. So that's why I brought the brass. And another thing I was doing, I took my wallpaper and I showed you all on Instagram yesterday. I don't know whether you all caught it, but I um, I had a um, one of the girls that was showing me on YouTube how to make these little flowers. So you put a brad in the middle or whatever you want in the middle, but you take three. I'll show you later how to do that. Or either I could... No, I don't even know how to do that yet. But see how cute that is? My nails need help, you all, so forgive my nails. Okay, and you could take one of the brats and put in the middle of that to make it really cute. So, that's some of the things that I got from Hobby Lobby and that I will be making some cuteness with. Okay. I wanted some more clusters because I had used all my clusters that I made. So I used, ta-da, I used wallpaper. And I made me some cute, 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 cute clusters. And I tried to stay on the, the um, what you call it, vintage side. I didn't want to get too colorful this time. I wanted to stay with soft. Um, vintage, subtle, 
pastel and look how cute this one is this is a different style all together i tore like a little um flag here and i just did this opposite but that was cute and one of the girls say i don't like using light thread i like using dark thread to make it even look more vintage so i try i stay with really nice calm vintage colors only with a few i went on my red binge i did a blue uh blue i did a blue um binge i did a green one and this is another one those large ones where you see the flag and then i just alternated different ones I love them. We'll be using these. We'll be um, adding some of my clusters and making it cute. So, let me move right along because I don't want it to go so long. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 ladies. Let's go to the... jelly plate and I think it dried enough I hope it did ladies I have been taking such a long time uploading my videos that's been over 15 minutes so that's why I am rushing I apologize for rushing but I really do want to, I think it takes me some time about six hours of seven hours to upload a 15 minute video Okay, so let's see. Oh no, it's not coming off. It's not coming off like I wanted it to. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let me see. Let me put some of my um let's put some white on it. Because I think I let it dry too long. Oopsie. Just put a a, a, a thin layer of white to just wake up that that color. Okay, you know I'm trying to find it, which I know is right here somewhere. See what happens when you rush, ladies. You really need to take the time when you're doing things like this, trying to find my Brea. But so let me just use this brush. You know I just had my Brea a few minutes ago, but now that I'm rushing. Okay, so let's put that. Let's put this on. I'm pressing really hard so I can try to get a good pull. I'm trying to pull that gold that's been there for a while so you can see it will look really antiquish, if that's a word. Here's my Bria. Antiquish. It almost look patina like. So let's see. See, it's starting to it's starting to do it. You see that? That is what I want. Then I'll go back and I'll go over this way. But you see it almost looks like gold leaf. And I have gold leaf that I'm going to start using on my... Uh, but this is the effect I want to get. You see how that gold comes from beneath that? I love that look. So let's wake it up again. Let's put some pepe there. Pepe. In. I'm going to just add some of this purple to this. Because, see, you have to clean off your brea. So, see how pretty that gets. Love it. Okay. Come on. I want you to do your magic. Everybody say it with me. Do your magic. Say it again. Do your magic. <laughs> So let's get that. Let's get the Brea. Do your magic. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me see. Come on. Get on there. Don't be shy. Let's pull from this side because I think it'll come up. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on. I need to help you a little bit. It 
did come off a little. I'm going to try to do it again. Because I want more gold. I want those edges. Those edges need to lift up. I want those edges to lift up. I'm not getting too much, ladies. I want more. I want more. What I might have to do, what I think I have to do is, let's put more let's put more paint on it and I think the paint will loosen that layer at the bottom okay let's see what am I at oh I'm at 15 ladies oh come on I didn't want this to happen okay I know what's gonna happen you know, every time you want something to work, it's like when you take your car to the mechanic and say, oh, this was happening, just been happening. And the time you take it to the mechanic, it is really nice. It's behaving itself. I'm like, oh, you want to do that now, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, and I'm sorry that I am moving the camera, but I, I'm trying really to get a good pull. I don't like this. I'm not getting a good pull. A little bit came right there. I'm not getting a good pull. Tiny little bit came there. I'm going to be aggressive on my pull. I might have to do this while I'm off camera, ladies, and show you. Uh-oh, I pulled it so far. Oh, it's working now. You see, I have to put more gold on it, like I said. But these are the pulls that I was trying to get to get gold in there. So, ladies, I am going to work off camera, and I will come back and I'll show you maybe with a part three. Okay, ladies, love you. Be blessed. God loves you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.